So I thought I'd make a quick follow-up to my last video where I talked about uh, the trials and tribulations of countersinking almost 600 holes in the horizontal stabilizer stringers and spar flanges and talk about my options for fixing the holes uh, that I screwed up in either end of each of the long stringers. So the obvious solution would be to just upsize the holes to the next size up rivet, which is a 1 8th, and then I could you know, enlarge the countersink to fit that. Uh, enlarge the holes in the skin and the ribs, and then of course dimple the corresponding holes in the ribs, uh, in the skins, I should say, to uh, a 1 8 uh, flush head. That should work just fine. Uh, no problem with that, provided that the countersinks that I screwed up are not already too big even for a 1 8 rivet. And I don't know yet, I haven't tried. I've eyeballed them and I think they should be okay, but I'm not positive. So I wanted to give myself the other option which was to just go ahead and remake those long stringers uh, from scratch. So I went ahead and ordered uh, the parts from Vans. I ordered not only the long stringers, but also the short stringers and stringer web. These parts are match drilled to each other. Uh, I'm sure I could have match drilled my existing short stringers and stringer web to the new long stringers, but I also knew that I was already gonna be paying far more in shipping uh, for these long skinny parts than I was already paying for the parts. And sure enough, the long stringers were like $13 each and the short stringer was like 10. Uh, and the stringer web I think was six or seven. The shipping was $42. Uh, now, kudos to Vans. When they ship something, it's getting to your house unharmed. Uh, so now I've got this really stout tube uh, I got to figure out something cool to do with. But anyway, I got my parts and uh, now I just have to figure out how am I going to final drill the new stringers to the already dimpled skins. So, you know, when you normally Clico skins to skeleton and do the final drilling, they, they're flat, they sit flat against each other, and then you take it apart and go ahead and dimple and countersink, and then the dimple nests into the countersink. Well, the skins are already dimpled. Uh, so what I'm thinking is, I know from experience that these parts that are already pre-drilled, uh, that just require final drilling, when you Clico those together, the holes are pretty much lining up perfectly already. Um, so, and I'm, I'm encouraged by the fact that I know Vans has gone to final drilled uh, parts for their RV10 kits. My empanage kit was uh, predates that, but not by much. So I kind of want to believe that, you know, their tooling was already really, um, you know, accurate anyway. So that's my hope. Um, what I'm probably going to do is go ahead and countersink the holes in the new stringers before, uh, you know, attempting to mate them to the skins. I'll probably mate the, you know, I'll probably click them to the skins just real quick and make sure everything looks like it's going to line up. Then I'll take them and countersink them. I may need to enlarge the holes a little bit for the countersink pilot, but I'm going to try to not go all the way up to a, you know, number 40 yet. Get the holes countersunk, and then I should be able to uh, Clico the new stringers to the existing skins and check and make sure all the holes line up and do any kind of final drilling that I need to do at that point. So that's my plan. I'm going to see how that works out. I'm not going to refilm fabricating, you know, cutting and, and filing and deburring all these stringers and everything like that. Got that in a previous video. There'll probably be a lot of, you know, fiddling around as I as I do it and see how they uh, how they look like they're going to mate up. And so what I'll probably do is do all that and then you know, film a follow-up to the follow-up here and just sort of talk about what I ended up doing and how it all worked out. So uh, we'll see.